yeah, Tokyo wasn't exactly exactly to the plan, but uh, yeah, we unfortunately suffered a break in the chain, what, um, the chain that connects both me and Dave, um, and it was unrepairable, so we had to abandon the race um, quite early into the bike leg, yeah, which uh, yeah hampered uh, the result. <laughs> Stopped us finishing. Yeah. <laughs> it took a little bit of getting out, like at first just thinking, oh, that can't, have, that didn't really happen, did it? Um, and like coming to terms with it, it took a little bit of time. But luckily for us, um, only like three weeks later we got Europeans, then a month after that we got Worlds, so it was like switch the attention onto that and um, focus on trying to actually, you know, pick up some good results there, put in good performances and almost uh, put the Tokyo to the back of the mind and focus on things coming up. I think, yeah, it was maybe like the tiniest bit of redemption, I think, both like winning uh, Europeans and World Championships. Um, but yeah, like obviously it's a bit, of a bit of a tough blow to take last year, but yeah, we've been you know, work, still working hard and still performing well since then. So yeah, it's a bit of redemption. So we're on the, on the path to recovery. <laughs> the build up to Birmingham was going pretty well. We'd uh, done like British champs uh, two weeks prior, gone well. Started to build into like the uh, holding camp week out, looking good, and then I like twinge my back and can't uh, put my socks on. And then a, a day later, Luke's like, "Oh, I don't feel so good." <laughs> and he goes, "Man down, ill." So like, oh, got this a week before commies. <laughs> it's great. It wasn't, it wasn't too bad in the end. I think we both had pretty quick recoveries, yeah. but um, luckily, like I think this, the, <laughs> the weeks, <Yeah. laughs> all the races we've done and been fine, and then yeah, one week to go that happened. So. We made it work. <laughs> in, in terms of uh, like race day, it's just trying to go through the normal motions. It was a bit of a, a bit of an odd race, I guess, in terms of just the amount of crowd out and out on the streets of Birmingham. Um, it was probably nothing, definitely I've never experienced, but I don't think you have either. Um, so yeah, I just had to factor in like like that, I guess. Like wasn't really uh, really expecting it, but it's really good to see so many people wanted to support Paratroy. It's definitely motivating. Um, not that we don't go hard normally, but I just, I think you almost, I don't know, you just don't want to do well for everyone who's getting behind you and cheering you on. And um, yeah, definitely got off that bike a little bit <laughs> sore and, oh, I can't get through this run. But uh, thankfully we had a bit of a gap, so uh, we could build through the run and go pretty well. That definitely felt like redemption at getting a, you know, a gold at a major games. Um, I know it's not quite Paralympics, but it, it could be the only chance we get to do commies um, and home commies as well, you know. Yeah, I don't think we'll get a chance to do that again. So yeah, it was really special and uh, it was awesome, yeah. Yeah, I think we had our own little like Ellis Pollard corner going on. Um, I think maybe Dave's mum was the loudest person on the, uh, on the grandstand by far. It was a good like, shot of her proper screaming at you. <laughs> I think going from Birmingham straight to Swansea would have been fine, but because we'd both come off the back of like a bit of a, well, you were ill, <laughs> now I was still struggling to put my shoes on, um, made it a bit of a tougher situation. And also it just, uh, it probably did take more out of us, just it not being like a normal race in terms of you just kind of go, it was like quite a few things after it where you do media stuff and, you know, a bit of a evening with the team after the after commie, so which was nice. But then it just, yeah, you're probably a bit more tired by the time we got to Swansea. But then it was special having like a home race, a home World Series for the first time that was properly focused on para. Um, so yeah, we thought we'd <laughs> had to actually put in a good race there. <laughs> yeah, it was a. It's always a, it's always a tough one with the with World Series, like you know, uh, you know best best in the world come for these races because you know there's big points on offer and you know there's really good athletes in Europe which you know makes it really really accessible for them to come over so yeah we had to put in a big shift uh, but then yeah luckily kept everyone away and then uh, <laughs> came home with the win. We obviously did Abu Dhabi last year did well so kind of hope we can you know repeat that. Um, I think we prepare well, well for the heat, or we have done previously, so hopefully we'll do that again this year. And yeah, looking forward to uh, go defend the title, and hopefully it'll be a you know hard race, good race, and yeah. push ourselves. I think it just ra like rounds off what has been a pretty pretty epic season, to be fair. Like um, probably raced 
more than we've ever raced together um, in one season. And yeah, it's been pretty good, pretty good string of victories so far. So adding one more at World Champs would be pretty special. Swansea's back for 2023. Keep up with all the latest news by liking and subscribing down below.